Good. Any type of distractions, feel free to give her a treat during training or reinforcing hearing the distraction but not responding to it. So when she's up like this, say the word down and then follow it up with placing a treat on the ground. And you can always place the treat in a specific location to get her to the more center of the bed. And you can adjust that if you want her to be fully on the bed in case she's like half off or anything like that. Feed her where you want her to be and she'll readjust her body. And sometimes we'll go from straight on to a side to tuck them in works. Then you can give two, three little pieces of kibble. While they're in a down, you can practice stays. If, they, if she pops up, it's completely fine. It's a brand new behavior for her. We are not doing anything more than imprinting the name down to the behavior of laying down. So we may give her a little bit of a pause. Down. Again, never paying attention. Down. And then follow it up with a treat again, all the way to the ground, and then releasing it when she lays down. And then follow it up by one, a second treat, followed up by a third treat, followed up by a, uh, the next treat to maintain this stickiness rather than having her hop up into a sit. Again, I'm feeding her where I want her head to be, which is more of a curled up position. She pops up take a little bit of a pause as a little punisher if we need to but really it's just kind of giving her a chance to reset we say the word down then follow it up with the mm. hand <laughs> that little pause of saying the word down and following it up with the hand gives her a chance to perform the behavior without the hand gesture and earn the treat faster right now as long as she's being sticky to holding the down position like this. I'll start to incorporate stay, pitter-patter my feet in some way, come back and give her a treat, two, third, fourth. Stay, pitter-patter my feet maybe into a step or two, come back, give her a treat again. One treat, two, three, fourth kibble. It's not my thumb, girl. Right there. Say, stay, hand gesture as well. Maybe pat, take two, three steps. Come back to her. Again, give her a treat. Another treat. So I have a couple in my hand and I'm giving it to her one at a time rather than a handful of treats. When this I was. Just kibble. When I was working with her earlier, she was I was telling her to stay and I would turn around in a circle and she stayed. She was doing really good with that. Gee, that's a sweet girl. Down. Stay. get a further distance away, we want to reward with extra treats. So the further that we go away, the more that she gets. Same thing with call, calling her to come when called. Stay. One, two, three, four, five. I'll count my steps if she starts to get up. She's a baby and this behavior, I'll still reward it, but I'll reward in a down, not in a sit. So my hand, the treat hand down, and then give her the treat when she performs the full behavior of laying down. Couple of treats. Then we'll become a little bit more strict, but right now she's a baby in all of this. So we'll give her a little moment, and we'll say, when well, she's paying attention to us, so rewarding paying attention to us with what's uh, uh, to be told what to do next, like a down. So then it rewards eye contact to us. Oh, look at you. <laughs> I will capture and take whatever she will give. If she laid down all by herself, you want to come in here and give her a treat. Sure, puppy teeth. A little 
goofy. And when you are working at home, take a break. Work with her one to three minutes. Take a little break. See if she wants to get some water. Free. Say the word free when releasing her from the bed. Want some water? No. Bed. Silly girl. And you can use your hand like an usher to kind of get her onto the bed and to a sit. You are ridiculous. <laughs> you are so ridiculous. You are ridiculous. You get a treat for being ridiculous. There you go. You always capture these funny behaviors. You reward them with attention, with love, and especially treats, and they'll start to offer it more and more. Oh, but yeah, take a little break. One to three minutes work with her training, tell her she's free, walk around, give her some love, give her some play, give her some water, and then when she's ready, give her a little moment to kind of show you that she's ready. Down. This is with no treat in my hand, nothing in my hand, but then when she lays down, go in and give her a treat. So she starts to perform downs, not because there's a treat in your hand, because your hand is, is doing the downward motion. You want to get treats out of your hand as soon as you can, but you don't need to rush the process. So you say, free, any, come. Get her off the bed. We won't do this as often, or maybe even take a treat and toss it off the bed. We say, bed. Look who's magnetized. Yeah. <laughs> then we'll say the word with nothing in my hands. Down. Followed by gesturing to the ground. Once she completes it, my hand then goes in, gets a treat. A couple of treats to sticky that behavior. So you can see I like to use a specific towel bed, something, while doing all this because it then even magnetizes them to it as as you're practicing the stay behavior stay somebody is jealous you're getting all the attention and again so after we give her a couple we'll say free maybe come over here and show her there's a treat she needs a treat there then we say bed We can wait for her to sit down before we tell her to lay down. We can also give her a moment to see if she will lay down all by herself. And if she does, we're there to reward her. So we give her little moments, and if she doesn't perform, then we kind of hold her paw to the behavior. We don't physically manipulate her into any type of behaviors. But we also give her everything wonderful. So if she wants to wrestle, then I wrestle with her on the bed. If she wants a chew toy, I give it to her on the bed. If she wants a bully stick, I will give it to her on the bed. Then you get a dog that's constantly magnetized. Free! What's over here? To the bed. Bed. Good girl. Give her a moment, see if she'll lay down all by herself. A little scratching. I'm also moving my body so that my body's standing in front of the bed. Later on, I may not come all the way to the bed. I may be a foot away from the bed and sending her to the bed. But right now, she's usually working in front of me. So I'm going to put myself in front of where I want her to be, which is this bed. It's been a little moment. Down. Point to the ground. Later on, we won't be touching the ground when we point to it. Right now, the back is all the way down, but then I'll turn it into this, and then into this, and then into this as a hand gesture to go down. But right now, we need to make things really elementary for her. Here's the one. You had your chance. Stay. Take a couple of steps away. We start turning our backs to her. And then we start to come back to her. Turning your back to a puppy usually means like, oh, you're leaving, so they want to follow. Stay. Take a couple steps backwards. Then we turn our backs. We 
turn the circle. Then as you perform these stay exercises, start to introduce some novel distractions. Stay. Wait for her to give you stay. Just like, uh-oh, I dropped something. If she went after it, oh, well, too, too bad. Silly girl, on top of the bed, not under it. Annie, over here. Bed. Down. Down. So I need to reposition her body a little bit. So I tried a couple of times with nothing in my hand. Let's see, one more time. If I'm not getting the result I want, I will go back to using a treat in my hand. Down. Treat right by her nose, to the ground. Give her the... It's not, it's not bad to go backwards in a step. Stay. Walk a couple of steps away. Drop the, or maybe even show it, don't drop it to the ground. Then come back. Give her a treat for not responding to the novel stimulant of a bottle, of a uh, bag, or a crinkly thing that you may drop. Wait for her attention. Down. No treats in my hand that moment. I like also to work with a little bit of traffic. Unfortunately, I don't have the option to turn that off, but I guess I'm to not care about it. Stay. There's the bottle. Drop it. Pick it up. It just gets her to recognize that some something novel in the, in the environment is, doesn't really matter. There you go. Take a little break. Give her a chance. She's just trying to investigate and earn reward by herself. Once she learns that nothing is more valuable than what you're working with, she will come back to you. You silly goose. You silly goose. So again, short little burst of training. One to three minutes. Take a break. She's obviously going to take a break herself and she's going to get tired of it. There you go. She may be also getting filled full up. Attentive. Down. Nothing in my hand this time. Didn't get the full down. Go back to a treat in my hand. Down. Right by the nose. To the ground. Maybe I will then try to tuck her in this way to get that foot back into the bed. And then I release the treat. Stay, take a couple of steps back. I can see now she's kind of going backwards in her training. So maybe I would call it, or maybe I would say, okay, let's work on something else. Maybe make it easier. Stay, maybe just pitter patter my feet rather than taking five steps back. Get quick repetitions. Stay of success, of her getting treats, and then build up like a rubber band. Make it hard, make it easy, make it hard, make it easy. Stay. And then we can work right back up to five steps again. Stay. One, two, three, four, five. Come back to you. Give you a little treat. Stay. Introduce a distraction into the environment. Doesn't respond to the distraction. Treat. Increase the distraction when possible. Stay. That was so beautiful. Good. That was beautiful. Oh, don't worry about that. Bane. Bane. Who's a good boy? There you go. Leave. Jingle jangles. Leave it alone. Oh, it's good. There you go, there's a distraction. And if she goes for it, then she lost the opportunity for more reinforcements. Annie, come. She gets also rewarded. Good girl, Annie. <laughs> She's like, nope. Guys, see what my buddies are up to. Annie, come. Good girl. Look where it is on the bed. Isn't the bed awesome? Can I go sit?
Can I get a dog? Can I get a million dollars? <laughs> Let's just feed that cute puppy. Alright, my girl. Can we take another little break? Come back to some more training? Yeah, I think that's some good homework for your people. Alright, you're free. You're free. You're off duty now. <laughs> you're off duty. Thank you. Alright, we're done.